Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Monday, November 30th, 2020, and I am here tonight because I have a ton of happy mail. Um, I might have gone shopping in the stores and online. <laughs> and I have an Etsy shop update, and I have only two finished objects, so I'll explain that later. Um, but anyway, my name is Rose. I live in the Chicagoland area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, and uh, we have a zoo here. So for those of you who are new, I have a dog. We have a bearded dragon, a Greek land tortoise, a leopard gecko, and some fish that make a lot, a lot of noise. <laughs> so, um, so welcome, and uh, I guess I'll just get some of that, like, uh, admin stuff out of the way. You can find me on Instagram, um, Etsy shop, Facebook group, and a Facebook business page. All is Rose Likes Crochet. So I hope you guys come and join us. Um, we have a really awesome Facebook group. I would love for you guys to come and join if you are on Facebook. I think we hit 2,000 members. Um, I need to go double check it. And um, we got to have a giveaway when we get it hit a big milestone like that. So come on over and join. You only have to answer three questions to join, and they're really, really, really easy questions. So, all right. So, um, we have, let's see, a lot of happy mail, um, but the first thing that I want to talk about is wings. So, for those of you who are new to my channel, um, this channel all year for 2020 has been doing charity donations for a domestic violence organization here in the Chicago area called Wings. And what we've been doing is we've been having items of the month. Um, we've been donating hats and scarves. Um, the donations for this year are done. So please don't send anything else <laughs> if you haven't already popped it in the mail. The deadline for donations was November 20th. Um, and um, what we've been doing is uh, for, I think the summer months, we were donating um, squares, six inch and 12 inch granny squares, and then we were putting them together and making blankets. So um, we wound up getting so many squares that we had to do something called the blanket brigade. <laughs> and there are still a couple of blankets that are should be coming in, twin size blankets. Um, but I did wanna share with you that I did finish the last set of squares that I had here at my house. Um, I did drop off donations on Saturday so I did bring that blanket with me but I do have some pictures that I will insert here so you can see what they look like or what the blanket looked like here you go So also for wings, um, and we are not going to have any more wings update videos, but in the last wings video that we had, I told everybody that I would announce the November giveaways in this video. So um, what I do is every time I get um, a donation, I will write down, look at my book, eat, sleep, crochet, repeat. Um, I will write down the names and what they donate and put a number next to their name. So like the first person November is number one, the second box I open is number two, etc. So what I did is I used a random number picker and um, her name is Carrots. <laughs> she did this during dinner. So she sat across from me at dinner and just shout out random numbers from one to 43 because we had 43 donations for November. And um, I would just, I have, we had six giveaway winners for November. And I'm going to tell you who those are based on the numbers that Carrots picked. She didn't see the list before and she doesn't know who any of you are. So <laughs> it was very random. All right. So for donations that we received in November, we had six prizes um, that we're going to be giving away. The first prize was an, an entire box of yarn um, that someone donated to this channel for this specific purpose. And the winner for that box of yarn is Sandra Antonucci. And uh, she's actually my neighbor. So, hey, Sandra, if you want, I can drop it off for you. <laughs> Let me know. The second winner is um, a set of stitch markers from Me, My Hook, and I. And the winner for those was Karen Nelson. The third prize was up to a $10 pattern from Dana at Wanderlust Crochet. 
And the winner for that prize is Emma Aguirre, A-G-U-I-R-R-E. The fourth prize was a bag and notions pouch um, that was made by Ella at No Catchy Name, but was donated for this purpose. And the winner of that prize is Denise Hoffman. The fifth giveaway was a pattern from Coco or Cocktails and Crochet. And the winner of that pattern is Dorcas Fields. And she's my neighbor up to the, to the that way from Indiana. And the last winner was actually uh, a 2021 crochet calendar that I showed in the very last Wings video. And the winner for that prize is Mama K. So for all six of you, I would really appreciate it if you could send me an email with your mailing address or just as confirmation that you saw this and you know that you're a winner and we will arrange to get your prizes to you. So thank you so much to everyone who donated for Wings this year. I really appreciate it. Um, if you're not sure what was going on, please check out the Wings playlist. We will be doing this again in 2021. Um, just need to confirm some details with Wings. So very, very exciting. All right. So you guys, I have like a lot, a lot of letters that I have not opened yet. And I got a lot of happy mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open everything up just so you can see like none of this stuff. Well, this is open. <laughs> Um, but I got a knit crate and I got a box and I got a, I got a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to open everything up right now and then I'm going to come back and show you my happy mail. All right, Hang guys. On. So the first letter I got, um, I don't want to show anyone's address, is from Nancy Jones and she's from North Carolina. Hi, Nancy. And she actually sent me, um, if you guys watched our, any of our Wings videos, someone sent in a cupcake washcloth and um, she actually sent me the pattern. It looks like it was one of those free, free, pa free patterns. <laughs> and she took a, a copy of it and she sent it to me and she says, hi Rose, I watch you all the time and enjoy everyone. Here is a copy of the cupcake dishcloth. Enjoy Nancy Jones. Oh, Nancy, thank you so much. So if you guys wanna see what this looks like, I don't know where else you could get it. Oh, it looks like it's from Michael's. So it says cupcake dishcloth, and it looks like it was a Michael's free pattern. So you can maybe check them out and see if they have that. Those are for those of you who watch the Wings videos. Um, there, someone donated a bunch of those cupcake washcloths, and I thought they were so cute. Okay, this next card, I had to be really careful when I opened it because it was from our favorite confetti lady. Her name is Marsha, so it's made by Marsha's mom, and she lives in Florida. And I got lucky because the envelope actually split open like this, <laughs> so when I took the card out all the confetti stayed in there so here let me see if I can show you guys she always puts confetti in her cards so there we go <laughs> so it's so cute so this time there's little hearts and acorns and flowers and leaves and oh Marsha I love you for doing that that's just awesome I'm gonna save that anyway she sent a Thanksgiving card and she makes all her cards handmade. So, oh, there's some, some tea in there. Cinnamon apple, chamomile, yum. And she writes, my heart is grateful for you. Happy Thanksgiving. She says, hi, Rose and Carrots. Hope this finds both of you well from Marsha. I am behind on videos, whips, laundry, cleaning, etc. Therefore, I'm sending an early Thanksgiving Day card, mainly because the Halloween cards never happened. <laughs> LOL, thanks for all you do. Marsha, I'm sorry I didn't get to open it up until after Thanksgiving, but I appreciate that. You don't ever have to send me a card, but I love it when you do. So this next one here is from... Uh, looks like Alicia Cooper, and she is from West Virginia, and it's my first Christmas card. It's pretty, and it says, uh, oh, she's so sweet. It says, wishing you a holiday season wrapped in love, and then she actually scratched out the Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and wrote Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> So that's awesome. She writes, hi, Rose. I hope you, Carrots, Camo, and the rest of the zoo have a wonderful and safe holiday. Love and hugs, Alicia and Kat. Kat is her daughter. So thank you so much for the combination Christmas and Hanukkah card. I do appreciate it. <laughs> 
All right, this next card is um, addressed to myself and Carrots. And this is from Carrie Penny, the Happy Crafty Homemaker. Hi, Carrie. And um, oh my gosh, the envelope has the washi tape on it because that's how Carrie is. And here is the card. So pretty. I love the washi tape. Okay, and then she's got on here, wishing you a beautiful season. Happy Thanksgiving from Carrie Penny. And it's so gorgeous. Oh, Carrie, I love your cards. Thank you so much for the card. I'm sorry it was it's after Thanksgiving when I'm opening this. All right. This next card is from Darlene King, and she is from Michigan. Hey, neighbor. And it looks like this is my first Hanukkah card, my first true Hanukkah card. So I so appreciate it. Look at that beautiful menorah. It says, may the miracle of light bless you and yours. And she writes, rose and carrots, a candle is a small thing, but one candle can light another. And see how its own light increases as a candle gives its flame to the other. You are such a light. And that is a quote from Moshi Davis. So Darlene, thank you so much for the beautiful card. All right, then this next card is from Miss Teresa Pace, and she is from Minnesota. Hi, Teresa. And that is a beautiful season's greetings card. And she writes, uh, Rose sending a special wish for a wonderful holiday season. Happy Hanukkah and Happy New Year. Uh, love, Teresa and Gabby. And she says she's also known as Teresa Loves Me Some Yarn. Oh, Teresa, do you have a channel? Um, I'm going to look that up. So anyone that I mention here that has a channel, they'll be linked in the description box down below. So Teresa writes, Rose, I know you don't celebrate Christmas, but I wanted to send you and carrots and of course the zoo a holiday card. <laughs> By the way, Gabby is my human baby boy with cat defects, so don't hate. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> He's my only kind of kid. I hope you and carrots have a very blessed Hanukkah and a very prosperous new year. Well, thank you so, so much. And um, I'm going to check out and see if you have a channel. All right. So then this last card here, that's an actual card card is from California and let's see I'll show you the card that's so pretty blessings to you carrots and the zoo oh Tracy hi Tracy um she says just a little something for you the pattern is from Jada in stitches I made one for my daughter who got married at the end of September however I figured some of us need a lucky penny for more normal 2021 oh this is really cool you guys okay so it's a stitch marker that holds a penny okay so here I'm gonna see if I can show you this so it's got the lobster claw and I don't know if you guys can see in there, there's a penny. So she crocheted around the penny and you can hook this to something and that's your lucky penny. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Tracy, thank you so much for the lucky penny and the, it's just so cool. I definitely need to hook this to something. Thank you very much. Okay, the last card that I got actually came in this really big envelope. <laughs> and this is from Sylvia Olivo. And Sylvia is from California. And she sent a thank you card. And um, it says, you're the best. Rose and family, happy Thanksgiving. Love, Sylvia and Cynthia. So Sylvia and Cynthia, thank you so much. And I got some pictures. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful this is. Wow. And this is from Cynthia. Cynthia did these. They're beautiful. Wow. So Cynthia, these are absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors that you used and um, wow, you did a great job. So thank you so much for the pictures. I really appreciate it. I love all the cards, you guys. All right, let's get to some more happy mail. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I got this package in the mail from someone named the Crafty Floridian. Hmm? Uh, her name is Billy, and it came to my address, and I didn't order anything from Billy the Crafty Floridian. So um, let's see what this is, because I, I don't know. Uh, it says Rosie RC Items. Love you, Billy. Okay. I don't know what that is, but let's check it out. Okay, so Billy sent me like a whole package of these awesome <laughs> Z 
Ziploc bags, which um, if you guys watch her channel, she orders lots of stitch markers from me. So I bet you any money, these are the Ziploc bags from the stitch markers I sent her <laughs> because she also returned my pins. <laughs> Billy, you're so funny. You did not have to return these, but thank you so much. I have an Etsy shop update I'm going to share with you guys, and I'll be using these for my, my, my projects. <laughs> thank you so much, Billy, for sending those back, but you didn't have to. Okay, so this next package is from another YouTuber, and um, her name is Lori Lulu. I will link her in the description box down below. And for anyone who has watched my channel, I actually um, ordered some yarn from Kramer Yarns. It was like one of those mystery boxes. And in the mystery box, there was some bare yarn. And I was like, hey, anyone wanna dye this for me? <laughs> And Lori said that she would dye it for me. So I sent her the yarn with some other stuff and she just sent it back. Okay, she sent me this adorable little card with the shoes on it. Uh, I like my gym shoes. <laughs> and she says, hey Rose, thanks so much for letting me play around with dyeing your yarn and the extra goodies. There's an extra goodie for you too. Blessings from Lori. Oh, Lori, you're so sweet. Okay, so the yarn I sent her was bare yarn and this is what she did with it. Yowza. Look at the purple on that, you guys. <gasps> yes, purple and blue. I love it. Look at that color right there. So Lori, you did an amazing job with this. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for taking the time to dye it for me and then sending it back to me. Now here's what she sent me as my little extra goodie. She sent me a project bag. Oh, and it's got llamas on it, you guys. This is so sweet. Check it out, box bottom and everything. Lori, I'm sure you made this because I know you make project bags and it is gorgeous. I love it. Thank you so much for sending that to me. You totally didn't have to. I just really appreciate that you dyed the yarn. So, all right, let's get to the next package. All right, so this next package came from Judy, and she is from Australia. Really? This came from Australia. So this actually came like a week or so ago, and I opened it up, and I thought it was for wings, and um, I, I don't know how I've had the patience to not eat what's inside this package <laughs> this whole time. Anyway, Judy has a channel. She's called Witch Peace, Witch Peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. I'm going to link her channel down below. So this came all the way from Australia. And um, here's the card. Show you. That is exactly where I would like to be right now, for sure. Okay, like in Australia. <laughs> All right, so her card says, uh, to Rose and family, to quote Tommy Lasorda, the dedication between the impossible and the possible lies in a person's determination. Your determination and hard work for Wishes for Wings will help many people during this difficult time. Wishes for Wings was a highlight of my YouTube year. With this in mind, I have sent you this small gift to show my appreciation of your determination. So now it is time for you to sit back, relax, enjoy the view, and have a sweet treat on me. Kindest regards, Judy and family. And then she says, P.S. No recipi re reciprocal gift is required. Just enjoy and put your feet up. Excuse my chicken scratch writing. <laughs> So, Judy, that's so sweet of you. You didn't have to send anything, and I really appreciate it. And honestly, it's been my pleasure to collect all the donations for Wings and deliver them. And I've had the opportunity to get to know them over there and um, volunteer, and it's it's been amazing for me, too. Um, just, again, so you guys know Wings is a domestic violence organization that helps people. They help women, men, and children. So... This is what uh, Judy sent me. Ha, ha, ha. Now I get to eat it. <laughs> All right. So I've heard of these before. These are called Tim Tams. And I think that we can get these in the United States, but they're not the same. I've, ha I've heard other people say they're definitely not the same, the ones that are made here. So those, so she sent me two packages of Tim Tams. Oh my gosh, Judy, thank you so much. I am so excited to try these. And uh, if I really, really like them, we might have to get some kind of an exchange system going. <laughs> 
So thank you so much, Judy. I appreciate your kind words. And um, by the way, I love your channel and I'm sorry I couldn't participate in Movember. Um, you guys should definitely go check out her channel. She's very, very talented. This is another box that I had previously opened because I thought it was a wings donation, but it's actually from one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Her name is Linda S. And I call her my fairy yarn sister because she always sends hooks, yarns, whatever, just randomly, um, like no big deal. <laughs> so anyway, I had opened this before and I thought it was for wings, um, but here is a card that she sent. And in it, she says, hello, sweet friend. Hope all is well with you, carrots, camo, and the zoo. Came across some purple yarny goodness and thought of you. As always, you are free to keep or give away as you like. Happy Turkey Day. Love, Linda. Linda, you're so sweet. You know me so well. So <laughs> look at what she sent me. <gasps> yes. Okay. So everyday premiere yarn and the color is purple marl. And there is like six skeins of this. All right, anyone want to give me any ideas of what to make with this? It's gorgeous. So, Linda, thank you so much for keeping me um, addicted to purple yarn. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Um, I probably will keep this. <laughs> so, thank you so much, Linda. All right, let me show you what else I got. So, um, a couple months ago, I found some yarn, uh, a yarn dyer on um, Etsy, not Etsy, um, Instagram. And um, you guys, if you're on Instagram, you should definitely make sure that you uh, keep your eyes out for people who are indie dyers. Anyway, they had shown a sample of a yarn and it was like a neon something. And I was like, oh my God, that would be perfect for Ross, the smells great guy. So I actually ordered him some yarn and sent it to him because it was perfect for him. Then I realized that they have like a yarn of the month club. So I joined it and I've actually gotten one box from them so far and this is my second one. Um, so I'm gonna sh tell you what they say. The company is called Knit Circus Yarns. Um, and if I can find their Etsy shop or a website, I will link that down below. Um, this is the November subscription club and it says happy November, though the month is already more than half over, there's time to enjoy favorite fall traditions before the winter holidays set in. So the colorway on this is called Counting Sheep Impressionist. So this is how it's wrapped. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so there is the yarn and it says the yarn is called flying trapeze um there you go and it says for november subscription club we've sent you our flying trapeze fingering weight yarn a plump blend of 90 percent superwash targy wool and 10 percent nylon it has great stitch definition and will wear well in whatever project. It is a 50 gram cake and has 205 yards. And then they give you a suggested pattern, um, beanstalk hat, a, a specific cowl, um, two cowls. So they, they give you suggestions, but they don't give you a pattern. They just give you the yarn. And it's, it's really cute and it's adorable and I love it. It's very, very pretty. So that is my Knit Circus yarn. Now I don't remember how much this was, but I did say I was gonna keep them for three months. So I have one more month to go on them. All right, then you guys, Knit Crate had some special where if you renewed, you get a thing for $4.99 and I got my $4.99 bag and I didn't like it and so someone else offered to pay for it so that's already gone. <laughs> so anyway, I got the next Knit Crate and um, this one was like the regular price and it comes in this bag, no box, and because it comes in the bag, there's no pattern, um, but it, they give you a little flyer so that you can go and look at the patterns online. Um, and it tells you about how they're planting trees now. And this is the yarn that came in my knit crate bag. I'm sure you guys have seen a bunch of people undo this knit crate. Um, this is Vitalana Ambient Worsted, and there's four different colors. Let me see what it says here. 100% uh, Peruvian Highland Wool, worsted weight, 100 yards, 50 grams, hand wash only, lay flat to dry. So this color is called Venezia. This one is called Titian. This one is called Michelangelo. And this one is called Fresco. 
So this was in my Knit Crate bag this month. So I don't know, I like them. I would like to figure out what to do with those. Maybe I'll have to look up the patterns online. All right, so that's it for the Knit Crate and the Knit Circus. So the next thing that I have is I have a Teespring shop now. I don't know if you guys are looking at it on a phone or a computer, but there should be like a little thing that shows t-shirts and mugs or something like that where you can go and get um, some stuff that says Rose Likes Crochet on there. So <clears throat> I ordered myself a mug so that I could see what it looks like and I got in the mug. And I like it because it's purple and that's my favorite color. <laughs> and this is my thumbnail on everything that I use. This is a Virus Meets Granny shawl. The pattern is from Fiber Spider. Um, and this was like a cupcake yarn called like it's too, too cute or something like that. Anyway, so these mugs are for sale. I believe I also showed like a tote bag and a t-shirt, um, but I wanted to get one of these mugs so that I could show you guys what they look like. Maybe this will go in a giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. So that is the mug. And then I have one more thing that I bought online. I'll show you this. So for those of you who are new here, um, one of the things that I have figured out that I'm kind of okay at doing is making stitch markers. And I've really gotten into it and have sold quite a few. It's been pretty fun learning how to make them. Um, it really racks my brain trying to be creative with some of them, but I guess that's a good thing. Um, so I've found a couple of places online to order stitch markers from, and I found a place um, called Crafters Limited, and I finally got in my order, and I ordered some really, really cute stitch markers or charms, I guess, that I can make into stitch markers. So I'm gonna show you guys. Now, I did this last time. If you see something that you like, you would have to email me and I'll put you on a list for a special order. And then um, once I make them, I'll do a custom listing for you. Anyway, so I'll show you what I found. Um, some of these, at least one set of these is already spoken for, but I'm gonna show you what I found, okay? I found Mickey Mouse hands. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I found Pepsi bottles. I found Superman logo. Um, I found Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> They're so cute. Hello Kitty. Now these I did not realize were gonna be this big. I don't know that these could be a stitch marker. So I think those might be just like, I'll have to chalk that up to a loss. Um, Darth Vader. And then check out these guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are awesome. I found Snoopy. I found uh, Stitch. I found Minnie Mouse. I found Mickey Mouse. You guys, I found Starbucks cups. I'm gonna make those into stitch markers. I found these little packs of Oreo cookies. <laughs> I found Betty Boop. And my sister's favorite, but she does not crochet, I found Minions. So I'm really excited. If you guys see any of those that you like, let me know and I'll put you on a list. Um, and then since we're talking about charms and stitch markers, I actually have an Etsy shop update um, that I actually did probably a week ago. So some of these have already sold, but instead of actually showing you the individual stitch markers, I took a video so that you guys could see what I was working on. Um, I do have a lot more that I'm working on right now, so I'll be doing an, another Etsy shop update in the next video. But here, I'm gonna insert the clip here so that you guys can see all of the stitch markers that I've been I doing. I wanted to show you guys some of the stitch markers that I just finished making. There's um, some crosses and uh, some pink stuff. <laughs> I thought those stones were really pretty. There is a unicorn, some owls. I love the cowboy boots. Oh my gosh. Star of David. And then I found these cool little disco balls at uh, Hobby Lobby and I didn't know what else to put with them. So I figured we'd just sell these guys as little one-offs. Um, so there's that. I've got some elephants, a teacup and a teapot. And now we have some Christmas bubbles. I have some sheep. Oh, here's some more Christmas bobbles. There's some more. They look like little ornaments. 
And then there is some cacti. Got a couple sets of those. There's that. And then here I have some snowmen. There's those. I'm sorry about the lighting or if this video is shaky. There's some paw prints. Oh, love me some paw prints. All right, then we got some turtles. There's more. There's more. <laughs> and then there is a set of sea themed stitch markers. And then I'm going to take you over to the other side. Okay, so we've got some roosters, some koala bears. There's more koala bears. By the way, you guys, these clay stitch markers or the clay beads, these are all from Fiber Spider. He donated those to me or gifted them to me. There is a set of keys. There are nutcrackers. Here we have toucans and horses and uh, really pretty flowers. There's more horses. There are some snowman heads. Oops, these little owls. There's green ones. And then there are some penguins. I don't know if you guys can, there we go. And then I have these, which I thought were really pretty. There's some disco balls. Gotta have some disco balls on your projects, right? Some really pretty blue beads. Gotta love the USA. Some seashells, panda heads, and here are some more seashells. So this is all that I've completed um, today, which is, you know, there's not just one of some of these, there's multiple. So um, I probably have another 200 more to go. Um, but the ones that I'm showing you now are already on the Etsy shop. All right, so real quick, I'm going to show you guys my only two finished objects. I will tell you, I am working on a lot of blankets because I have some people that I want to give some blankets to. But, you know, I'm kind of obsessive and addictive and I do things like like a bunch at the same time. So I'm actually doing like six of the same style blanket at the same time and um, they're all in various stages of completion. So I'll show you them all when I'm, when I'm done with all of them. Anyway, so this is one of my finished objects. This is a Simba Lovey. I know I showed you guys this um, probably on my last video, normal video, um, but it's sold like within a couple days and I figured I better get another one because how cute is that? Um, so this is my symbol lovey um, and I have a bunch of these that are up for sale on my Etsy shop now the tutorial on how to do this is by Zelda NRJ3 and I will link that tutorial in the description box down below so there's one of my finished objects and then I got some of this really really beautiful yarn <laughs> uh, from a great a uh, person on, I don't know if they're on Instagram. I think they probably are. And they're called KnitPal USA. It's KnitPal.com. And she specially hand dyed two skeins of yarn for me. It's 100% superwash merino. They're 218 yards for, for each hank, 100 grams. Um, and she named the colors for me because I am a Bears fan. You see right here, I know they lost on Sunday. It's okay. Um, she named the colors Chicago Bears Blue and Chicago Bears Orange. And we have the Pantone numbers and everything. So if anyone is interested in getting these Chicago Bears colors, there is her information and I will link it down below. So out of the two Hanks, this is what I have left out of each one. I had balled them up. And the pattern that I chose for this, because I want to use this item myself, is the La Lucha Cowl. And this is by Crochet Luna, Claudia. And I actually helped her test this pattern and it is an amazing, amazing pattern. So I will link this down below as well. It is a paid for pattern. 
and I decided to do a little bit of a twist on it. I still used her design. Um, I just did, I'm gonna just show you guys real quick. I alternated the stitches and the colors so that I would have a nice combination of the orange and the blue. So here we go. I will show you a little bit closer. Oh my gosh, it just turned out so beautiful. I love the pattern. If you guys really want to spend some money on a really good pattern, I would totally recommend this. So this is my Infinity Cowl, Chicago Bears, go Bears. <laughs> and I will try and take a picture of this and put it on my Instagram, um, but I haven't had a chance to do that. So that, the, those are my only finished objects. Um, the hooks I used for those were an eye hook, 5.5 and a 4.5. Um, so that's it for finished objects. So I'm going to show you guys my retail therapy now. So for Black Friday, I was not planning on going to the stores and getting anything, but I had an urgent cry for help. Someone needed some Karen One Pounders in white. Hi, Gabby. <laughs> uh, to finish a blanket. And uh, for those of you who watched all summer, Gabby is my um, one of my Girl Scouts sisters and she learned how to crochet and was putting together squares for us for wings anyway she urgently needed some carrying one pounds in white so i went to joanne's because i had to and um found her some Karen one pounders and while i was there i had to do some shopping myself so i got one for myself um they were on sale for 4.99 um, I figured I better have one in case she runs out again, right? <laughs> and then they had the Big Twist Holiday Yarns on sale for $2.99. You guys can see the sparkle. So I picked up, they didn't have much left. So I picked up this one, which is green with Lorex. I picked up this one, which is white with Lorex. And um, how original, this one is called red with Lorex. So these are the only ones they had left and they, they only had one of each. Otherwise I would have gotten more. Um, these are Big Twist Holiday, 98% acrylic, 2% polyester, 175 yards, 3.5 ounces, 160 meters, 100 grams. And they're really, really pretty. Um, it's a four weight, machine washable, dry flat. I'm sure you could dry it in the dryer. Um, and they recommend um, an I 5.5 millimeter. So that's all the yarn that I bought. What? I know, shut the front door. But they also had stitch marker, not stitch markers, I keep saying that. They had charms and stuff on sale and beads. So I did find some beads and these will become stitch markers. So I got some owls. Um, I also just had some crosses up in my Etsy shop and they sold out except for one pair so I figured I would make some more and I found these really pretty snowflakes I love those and then I just got like a bunch of beads you guys I got these little penguins I got stars oh there's these dogs and chili peppers oh my gosh how cute um I've had these before these chunky butterflies and I'm almost sold out I found these really pretty um, dragonflies and these butterflies are really cool looking. And then um, I found these really cool square beads. So I'm gonna make stitch markers with those. And then I went to Michael's <laughs> and I didn't fin find any yarn, which was really, really shocking. But um, I did find some um, charms so that I could make stitch markers. So I got those, I got some Christmas trees, some flowers and dragonflies. Oh, there's more dragonflies, but they're a different color. These are some really cool looking snowflakes. You probably can't even see them. They're getting blown out. Here's more flowers, elephants. Um, owls have been a big seller for me, so I found these pretty blue and white ones. And I also got some bumblebees because those are really popular too. So that's what I got in the store. Um, but before that, you guys know I had to place an order online with Michael's. <laughs> this was like over a week ago and it finally came both packages. So let me show you what I got. 
So they had um, Karen cakes on sale um, and they had the anniversary cakes on sale at the time that I bought them for like $24.99. So I did have to buy one and unfortunately this is how it got sent to me. So it's pretty destroyed. <laughs> But that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna be fine. We're gonna we're gonna be just fine. Um, and the color on this one is called Blueberry Bash, and it's really hard to even see what it looks like because it's so messed up. But here, I already have one, and so I would like to make something and have at least two of them. I don't even know what I'm gonna make. Probably a blanket. Um, but it says it's a super bulky six, but it's really probably more like a really thick five. So anyway, so I got that, but I'm really not happy with the condition that it came in. I also picked up these Eco Cozies from Loops and Threads, and let me tell you about them. Okay, so there's the label, and there you can see, like, it looks like a roving. It's pretty thick, and let me tell you about it. It is a five bulky. They recommend an eight I'm um, sorry, a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. It's 100% recycled polyester made from recycled plastic. It's 145 yards, 5.29 ounces, 133 meters, and 150 grams. The color on this one is called mustard, and it's made in Turkey. So I picked up three of those. I'm sure I could do a lot of damage with three of those. I'm thinking a hat and a cowl. And one of the main reasons I picked this color is um, there is a Harry Potter fan in my house. So I was thinking if they also had burgundy, I might try and find some burgundy and make her something with these. <laughs> so, um, so I got three of those. And honestly, I don't remember how much they were. Um, but the Michaels near my house doesn't have like any of these. So I'm really glad that I picked those up. And I also ordered more charms and beads <laughs> online. So I will show you guys what I got. I got more owls. I got more of the bumblebees. I got turtles and pineapples. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's little tiny itty bitty crosses. You can't even see them. I thought those were really, really pretty. I got more turtles. Oh, here's some more blue owls, different shades of blue. Here are some angels. Um, there are some snowmen. So cute. And then, guys, I didn't realize how big these were, but I don't know that these can be stitch markers either because they're pretty big. <laughs> so anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, do me a favor, check out all of the people that I linked in the description box down below. Remember, um, if you were one of the winners for the Wings November um, giveaways, please send me an email so we can get your goodies out to you. Um, please, please go check out my Etsy shop. Um, I do have quite a few stitch markers on there now. If you saw anything that you like today um, on this video, please send me an email. Don't leave a comment in this video um, that you want it because I'm probably not going to remember to write it down and I don't have any way to really get back to you. So email is best. Um, I think that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Come join our Facebook group. It's so much fun and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a giveaway over there pretty soon, but don't tell those people over there. <laughs> Just come on by. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great week and we'll talk to you later. Bye.